Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. I don't know about you, but every time I read Kings or Chronicles, I just want to cheer when I come to a king who did what was right in the sight of the Lord. I'm sure many of the people felt the same way. Only we have the advantage of the summary of their reign as they're introduced. Then it goes on to say how good the king they were, whether they followed the Lord fully, destroying the high places, or whether they followed him partially when it was convenient for them. Right off, it makes me wonder, not that anyone would write me into an anthology of Christians, but if they did, would it say, she did what was right in the sight of the Lord with all of her heart? Or would it say, she did what was right in the sight of the Lord, but not with a loyal heart? That's what it said about Amaziah. He followed what his father Joash had done, meaning he allowed the people to continue worshiping idols, which was what had drawn his father away from the Lord in the first place. Amaziah strengthened and organized his army, 300,000 men. Yet for some reason, he didn't think that that was enough, so he hired mercenaries from Israel hundred thousand of them. That's when a prophet showed up. Let me read what happened from Second Chronicles 25, 7-9. through 9. But a man of God came to him, saying, King, do not let the army of Israel go with you, for the Lord is not with Israel, not with any of the children of Ephraim. But if you go, be gone, be strong in battle. Even so, God shall make you fall before the enemy, for God has power to help and to overthrow. Then Amaziah said to the man of God, But what shall we do about the hundred talents which I have given the troops of Israel? And the man of God answered, The Lord is able to give you much more than this. So would Amaziah forget the money and obey the Lord? Yes, he did. And God gave him victory. That's a great lesson for us, too. Obedience may cost us something, but it's always worth it. So Amaziah defeated the Edomites and came home praising the Lord, right? Well, no. He brought the idols from the people of Seir home with him and started worshiping them. How crazy is that? Understandably, this angered God, so he sent a prophet to warn him. Yet Amaziah threatened to kill the prophet. As we read this, we know things are just going to go downhill from there. Sure enough, Amaziah allowed pride to take hold of his heart, and he challenged Israel to battle. Even the king of Israel warned him about his pride. He said, You have defeated the Edomites, and your heart is lifted up to boast. Stay at home. Why should you meddle with trouble, that you should fall, you and Judah with you? Of course, Amaziah wouldn't listen. Not only was Judah defeated, but Israel took Amaziah captive. Eventually, his own people conspired against him and killed him. Not a very good end to one who started out doing what was right in the sight of the Lord, was it? It was all because his heart was not loyal to the Lord, meaning it wasn't completely surrendered to God's will and purposes. That Hebrew word used here is one that we've looked at many times, shalom. His heart was not shalom with God, was not at one with God, not in step with his perfect plan. Amaziah permitted compromises and did some very foolish things that he knew were wrong. Because of his arrogance and idolatry, God allowed him to make more foolish choices, which affected not only him, but his whole nation. It all came from not being completely surrendered to God. Is your heart shalom with God? Is your full weight of dependence on him, or is it partially on other things? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.